Hey, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, we are playing some Forza Motorsport 7. So this will be a official game, fully released, everything. I actually got the early access, so I got the Ultimate Edition. But I do apologize I didn't bring any uh, gameplay of it early, because I was currently house-sitting and dog-sitting for a friend uh, for a week, so I could not bring anything out. I could not bring a video out at all. But I am back. We're going to get him back into the swing of things. I'm sorry that I was gone for a week. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to get into this. I wanted to do this because Bathurst is on right now. And I mean quite literally right now because it's Sunday. Uh, today will be Monday. Well, I'm recording this on Sunday. And when I put this up, it will most likely be Monday. So hello, everyone. Uh, but yeah, uh, we're going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to set it to a 20-lap Bathurst on the hardest difficulty possible. That's my what I'm going to do. So, we're going to go ahead, race set up, all, to, all the way to Bathurst, laps 20, and customize to pretty much that's all I need. I would like to be able to set this track to rain or something, but it's just not an option we have. Uh, the field will be full, so we're going to go ahead, do that, go down to assist, check everything that's on, yep, 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 yep. And driver tower difficulty, all the way to unbeatable. So I'm going to get a 100% credit boost on this. So this is going to be quite interesting to see how I handle this. And we'll just now load up into the race, and when I get into the race, I'll change cars. Alright, so we're loading into the race now. Bathurst circuit, like I said, it's going on right now. The race is happening right now. I don't know who's winning, so I can't tell you that. And yeah, uh, so we're gonna change cars. I would love to use this uh, Holden. Uh, all pretty much all the cars in here that I have have my own design. I've got I've got four V8s already. I've got the Ford. I've got two Holdens and one Nissan, pretty much. But what I want to run is this. I made this design just the other night because I currently did a 50 lap online Bathurst race, which was hectic as hell. Trust me, if I had footage, I would show you. But currently I don't. And it was a pain in the ass, trust me, because we're running sim damage and every single time you crash, you'd have to go into the pits. But we're going to get straight into this. No tuning, completely stock. Difficulty, just going to double check that it's on unbeatable. Yep. And we're going to go ahead and start the race. Oh, I should have set it to non-rolling, but hey, who cares? It's going to help me not stall the bloody car off the start. But here we go. My goal is for this race is not to get any damage, but I know with this being unbeatable, and with the AI in this game, it's going to be an absolute pain in the ass. Oh, and also, throughout this race, I want to discuss some things about the game and what I like and dislike about it so far. So, as we go through, I will start discussing and talking about that stuff because I really want to get in-depth with this. The game isn't bad. I do enjoy it a lot. It's just it has some areas where I wish they could improve. So the first thing I want to discuss with you guys is the VIP pass. So if any of you guys have the Ultimate Edition on disc or downloaded, you would have got the VIP pass. So when it first came out, a lot of people were very disappointed with it because it didn't exactly explain what we would be getting and they changed it. Turn 10 changed it before they officially released it. So. Originally, we were meant to be getting, like, old time, like all the other games, if you got the VIP pass, you'd get a double XP boost every single time you got a, finished a race. That was not the case with this one. They swapped it up just before release. Oh, shit, I'm getting past. Nope, that's my position. Move. Nope. Ah. Uh, but, yeah, a lot of people, there was a lot of backlash for it, and, um... Now they've gone ahead and reworked the VIP pass. So if you haven't already known, they're now going to go take it back, update it, and we will be getting double XP every time we finish a race. 
Uh, they will be bringing out an update for it. Don't know when. They were very quiet about that. They're working on the update now, apparently, so anything's possible. But uh, also another thing is that because of that, they gifted all VIP members three Forza Edition cars. No, actually, they changed the four Forza Edition cars. And you also got $1 million in game cash. So I'm going to admit that was a good job on their behalf, but I wish they didn't change it in the first place because of how much of the backlash they got for it. Well, I failed my challenge of not getting enemy damage because this Xbox Racing. Falcon just ain't gonna move out of my way. Until now. I wanna see how fast I can go d coming down Conrod straight right now. I'm hitting 260. I could hit 300, but I don't. I'm, I might need to tune my car to be able to hit 300. Because I know in the actual race, most of the cars actually hit uh, 300 for sure. But I'm not exactly a professional racer. Alright. Now let's discuss about some of the bad things about this game. First of all, you can't exactly just the weather. So, as we all know, weather can change mid-race. So it could start off all nice and dry, then it can go to pissing down rain and the track would get wet. You can't change that. You only get two settings. You can have a, I believe, a nighttime. Oh no, three settings: nighttime, daytime, and rain. If you put it on nighttime, I believe it eventually starts going nighttime. Uh, if you put it on rain, I know for sure it either the race starts off raining, or it starts off dry and goes to uh, wet. And then daytime. Sometimes you might get a gloomy day like this because this race is set to daytime, and this is what daytime looks like. It really, you can't adjust it. All you can do is basically just hope that you get the uh, one you want. And a lot of people don't really like that. People wish they could have full on adjusted, like say, I want it completely sunny, no clouds, no nothing, or I want it completely raining, or I want it raining then going dry near the end of the race. People want to adjust that, but no, with how it's set up, we can't. And it's basically set to choose a time, day setting, and throughout that race it might change because it does have dynamic so it could like I said start off gloomy like this and go to very very sunny at the very end of the race it really just comes down on what it decides to give you I've been stuck behind this guy for the last I don't know how long re-ending him every single time because his braking lines are a lot earlier than mine and it's really annoying and also, I've been thinking that I might name this video Bathurst 1000. Uh, I know people give me a lot of backlash in it. It's like, Bathurst 1000? It doesn't even that many naps. It's like, well, here's the thing. Apparently, on this game, you can only set the highest lap to 50, which is kind of annoying. As far That's what I've been told, uh, especially for online races. I've been told that you can only set it to 50 laps. I've not actually seen how many laps you can properly set this to in free play, which I'm in now, uh, but like I know people give me backlash, it's like, you know, you're not even doing 161 laps, it's like, well, uh, I'm sorry, but I can't, that's the problem, hey, I would, but then I'd be here pretty much all day doing this, and you'd have to watch like a hour long video, because I'd be cutting down to some of the best moments, or where I'm talking, and discussing shit, so don't give me shit, for having the title of an actual race, what would you rather me put it? Bathurst 20 lapper? Actually, nah, no. I'm sticking with Bathurst 1000. Sorry. Oh, and I just thought of another thing that most people hate. So, out of the bat, we instantly get a uh, 700 cars. But, the only problem is... Not all 700 are acquirable at straight away. So, the game has a new system in place called Collected Tiers. You've got Tier 1 and 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on and so forth. If you are Tier 1 and you want a certain car like a Ferrari sign, you have to wait because you will need to get to Tier like 4 
before you can unlock it, which I, me, per me personally, I love that because it stops you from just going, hey, I'm going to get the fastest car in game. Fuck you all. It seriously just stops over nerdy fuckers that want to do that stuff and screw everyone over. So it actually has progress in, progression in game and it actually forces you pretty much to collect cars and keep them. Because as far as I know, auction house is not open yet. So as far as I know, if you sell a car, your collection, collection tier could go down. So I'd be careful about if you're going to sell cars or not when the auction house opens up or... Be careful in general if you want to get rid of cars. But uh, back to the point, most of the cars were locked straight up. E you could be past tier 5, which is the highest tier for collector car, before you, you know, you pretty much unlock everything at tier 5, if you're on that. But most of the cars are still locked. Most people are asking, why? Well, that's because either they're going to be Forza upon event cars, or cars you can collect from... Uh, leveling up or cars you can collect from the crates which another thing people hate the crates I me personally I don't mind them they're not too bad especially since we don't actually have to use real money on him yet and I say yet because they'll be adding tokens for you to use real money and spend stuff on but I'm kind of glad that they didn't add that in straight away because it piss a lot more people off but in saying that, people do hate the crates. I fucking don't mind them. They're quite alright. Neat little way of getting exclusive gear that you might not be able to win in races and stuff like that. So, uh, but uh, back to the point. Yeah, most of the stuff is locked because you either have to win it from a showcase event, leveling up, most likely going to be a Forzathon, or you just need to get them from crates. And I hear a lot of people complaining, it's like, Oh, I want this car, but it can't find it in the store. It's like, well, um, think about it. If it's not in the store, how else are you going to get it? If you can play with it on free play and it's not in the store, how else do you think you're going to get it? And it's just, it's so stupid how people think these days. Can I just ask a quick question? Any of you guys watching right now, uh... Do any of you guys run with sim damage on? Can you t tell me? Because I want to know if you have sim damage on and you're doing a race like this with NPCs, do the NPCs pit if they get, if they get damaged like badly? I want to know that because if they do, I might want to start running my races with simulated damage on. Just for fun. Just so I can have a more realistic race if the uh, AI actually pit. Just, just let me know in the comments below or contact me on my social medias links will be in the description down below if you wish to contact me or follow me on them so yeah just let me know please any of you guys all right we're coming down the finish straight and uh we're on the 10th lap now so 10 more laps remaining before the end of the race still trying to get in fifth if i can get fifth i'll be super happy also, I want to mention something like, at the end of the race, so if you want to keep stay tuned for that little um, mention at the end, uh, it's more of a way to help you get a quick and quite hard uh, achievement if you'd like to help get your game score up even more. But So keep an eye out at the end of the race, and I'll let you guys know what that is. All right, run up the ass of fifth place. Can I get past him? Oh, come on. No. Oh, come on. Yes. I'm now in fifth. Final. i am almost finished the race. So, my goals are now to at least get second. Get a podium position. Fifteenth lap. Only five more to go. And I'm in fourth place. Trying to get myself a podium spot. Uh, I'm hoping to get a podium spot. But we're so close to finishing. I've been in this race for 31 minutes. That just shows how long this track is. Because it's about 2 minutes every lap. So keep that in mind if you want to try doing a long endurance race on this track. It's about 2 minutes uh, 20 seconds depending on how quick you can go through. Me, me personally, I can pull off a 2.11. A clean 2.11. So... I'm alright on this track, but I have 
I prefer racing on this track a lot more than I do on any other track, especially with these cars, because, you know, I am Aussie, and I do love my Aussie stuff. Two laps remaining, and I have gotten second place. This is first place right in front of me in the blue, um, blue, I believe, uh, Pepsi Max Falcon. So if I can get in front of him, I'll be in first place. And oh man, I can't wait to get in front if I can. That's my goal. Like I said, these guys break so much earlier and harder than I do, which is annoying. And then, because I have to, because I'm doing the same racing line, I have to break with them. Oh, he scratched the wall over there, so. But I have to break with them when, because they break earlier, and I take the exact same races line as them, so it's kind of annoying. Because up here, coming up here, I'm right up on his ass, and I have to break earlier. Because literally, oh shit, I didn't want to. I don't want to hit him, so I'm gonna back off. Oh no, fine, you back off then. Well, we're in first. See what I mean? They break earlier, and they break in areas you don't even need to break. All right, here we go. Final lap. Final lap. Time to rip out some decent times. With they're still up my ass. Look at that. They're still up my ass. Like holy Christ. Uh, with it being um un unbeatable, they will be very close. But the thing is, they don't exactly pass me. Okay, I might have eaten almost eaten my own fucking words right there. Uh, but I've noticed uh, most of the time, even though they've got enough room to pass, they just don't pass for some reason. They slow down. And then they just, I don't know what's going on with MP, the NPCs in this game. But it just, they won't pass. It's quite, it's quite stupid, quite annoying. Uh, but, uh, meh, who cares? It helps me win, so <laughs> we'll keep that in mind. And coming into the final corner, into the finish line. i got to admit, this is a fun thing to do if you have not done it yet. Go out, give it a try. It is quite in. It is quite fun. It gi it gives you a chance to test yourself. It gives you a ta chance to test yourself to see how good you are against the AI on full max. So that was fun. I love it. I'm gonna go ahead and save the uh, recording because why not? But that was absolutely fun to do. I hope you guys did enjoy. I know I had to cut a lot of it out because it took literally 20 fucking minutes. Uh, no, actually 40 minutes. So keep that in mind. Uh, but I love this little animation screen. Shows off the winner's car. And the eh, top three. Um, I, f I really like that. I really dig it a lot. So uh, we also have had some perks going on too. So we got a fair bit of cash. We will level up maybe twice. Who knows? Maybe once. We'll just level it up. Uh, should I get the car? Or should I get the suit? Or should uh, screw it. I'll get the car. It adds to my collection value. I'm okay with that. Uh, and we level up again. And what do we get to choose from today? Uh, we get a racing suit. Another car. BMW. Hmm, I want the racing suit, but I'll leave it for maybe next time where I get in a crate. So we're going to go ahead, get the BMW. Oh, we almost leveled up, and we would have got a Porsche. I might get that Porsche when I level up. But uh, that is that. Thank you guys for watching. Again, I do apologize. Oh, and quickly, I did say I was going to say something at the end. So, you, a nice little way to get an achievement. So basically... What you want to do is do, you can set it up like this, do a free play or do a uh, Forza Cup race. And all you have to do is set your difficulty to unbeatable and win. If you can win, you will get yourself an achievement. So, now I found this out because I did it not too long ago and it was quite alright. It was kind of cool. I was like, hey, cool achievement for doing it on the hardest difficulty there is in game. Um, but yeah... Hey, nice quick achievement for you guys uh, at the same time. So, And also, if you did like seeing this design in-game, you're more than welcome to go download it for the uh, 2016 number 22 car. Uh, so keep that in mind if you wish to download this design. Uh, but, yep, 
Thank you. I do apologize. I was away for a week. I was, like I said, house sitting. But I am back now, so get prepared for some videos. I will be bringing a Battlefront 2. So Star Wars Battlefront 2 beta is out, and I will bring you guys a video on that. But until next time, thank you. Please subscribe, like, and all that great stuff, and I'll see you all in the next video. I'm cool.